What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I decided to film a what I ate today video. I feel like this is going to be a little bit different because it's also kind of an explanation as to like why I eat certain things, nutrition, a little bit of education when it comes to that through Daniel who's not a professional. I just want to throw that out there but he has done a lot of research and has a lot of life experience with this kind of stuff so I thought that would be a good idea. Plus this is kind of what's been helping me um, get on track with like losing weight, getting more fit, <laughs> that's my sister in the bathroom and just feeling better about myself so without further ado let's get started first things first after my workout is my premier protein that i have every single time after i go for a run and train and stuff um i just think it's great as for the benefits of this i will have daniel explain it to me once again and i'll write it down in the description i just know it's really important for me to drink this after a workout, but it tastes really good. I got them at Costco and I just drink it with a straw. Um, if anyone knows where to get straws that aren't plastic, like I reuse these, I don't know if it's bad, like I wash them and then I just reuse them. But if I can get like metal straws or something, I, I see those a lot on Pinterest and Tumblr and I think they're a lot better for the environment, but let me know in the comments down below where I can buy those. If you can like add a link, that would be awesome, but yeah. First things first, gotta get some protein in my body. Pretty flowers that are dying. <laughs> so as for breakfast, these are all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using. So I'm making an avocado toast. This is the bread that Daniel got today. Um, it's three grains and oatmeal. It's just a really, I guess, healthy bread. I don't eat too much bread, but when I do, this is typically the one that I really like. Anything that has lots of oats or seeds or grains in it is really good. I don't typically read like how many calories and stuff are in bread because I just don't think that's important. Like I know for most people that is like a huge deal, but I think as long as it's like a whole wheat, if there's lots of like seeds, grains, oats, you're good. And yeah, I mean, I don't eat bread too often anyway, so it's not the biggest deal, but I'm going to toast two slices of this. As you can see, they're not that big, they're pretty small, but I usually have two, and then what I do is I cut up the avocado, I put it in a bowl, and then I put a tiny, tiny little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Um, that just makes the consistency a lot more smooth, and then I do a tiny bit of salt and pepper. I use a dash of cumin. I actually use a lot of cayenne pepper because I like when it's spicy, and also some red chili pepper flakes and some paprika, and then that's basically what I do to make my avocado toast, and it's so yummy. This is essentially what it looks like before I mix it all together. Basically, the more colorful my food is, the more I like it, so that's kind of what my motto is. And as you can see here, that's like the only olive oil I put. It's the tiniest amount. Yummy. So here is the finished look. I know it's not like pretty or anything, it just tastes amazing, and all the flavors put together make it like mouth-watering. Then I'm gonna have a huge glass of water as well, and enjoy this. So I just had Dan read the back and like explain why it's good because I don't know anything. Okay, so there's check marks that say only 75 calories per slice, which is good. Uh, are, like, is it good to look at that stuff? I, I don't agree with counting calories, but some people are very specific with that. But in my personal opinion, I don't agree with it. But it's, it gives you a good rough idea. But more importantly, it's excellent source of vitamin D, very high source of fiber. Uh, even in the nutritional facts chart, there's lots of fiber, very low in fat, this bread, and there's no sugar, there's lots of protein, and it also has calcium and iron. So why is it good to have fiber? Fiber is just good for your digestion. It's really healthy. For like for poop? Yeah, <laughs> for poop. <laughs> but no, it has obviously lots of other benefits too, but it's... Nice uh, shirt, by the way. Thank you. And nice shorts. This is really good bread. Yay, thanks, Dan. Low fat, very healthy. And also, why is it important to have protein? Again. After you work out, you need to replace like the glycogen that you lost in your muscles. So you need to have like some quick sugar, good sugar, don't just eat candy. <laughs> and then when your muscles break down, you also need to replace it with protein. So it's good to have protein right away. Oh. So that's a good like healthy sugar, protein, a little bit of healthy fat. It's good for you. Plus, I'm not sure if that has B12 added to it. I think it does for you, which is good because you don't eat meat. Yeah, it does. It has some B12 added. So that's even better for you. Yeah, I gotta take my daily my multivitamin. You can look at all... I, I like never read these things. I probably should, huh? You can look at all the vitamins that are added to this thing. So it's it's very healthy. It's almost like having a multivitamin pill. Oh, so should I not take my woman's centrum thing? No, that's fine. I mean, you're not really gonna overdose on vitamins. If you do, you might have some like kidney damage, but it's really, oh. it's really hard. <laughs> well, I don't want to really, do that. It's really hard to overdose on vitamins. You'd have to take like a bunch of multivitamins a day. 
Okay. I trust you. And why do you know a bunch of the stuff? Yeah, my English. Wow. I used to Speaking? read. I used to read a lot of books about nutrition when I was swimming. Uh huh. So it's just like sort of self-taught knowledge, I guess. But and I also mean, like dealing with a lot of nutritionists and like when you yeah, were swimming. Yeah, and... we used to have people help us and stuff. But nutrition is one of the like the the subjects in the world where you can get super different info. It's yeah. like you could read one book and it'll tell you one thing, and then you could read another book, it'll tell you the exact opposite. Like, oh, eggs are really good for you. Other book, don't eat eggs. Right. So it all sort of depends on what you're looking for, but there's there's sort of like a general consensus in what's good. Information by Daniel. <laughs> Thanks, babe. So for dinner, I'm going to be making these spring rolls. They're so freaking good. So I, it's in a package like this. I don't have the like, uh, like outside packaging anymore, but I get them at Costco. They're the vegetarian ones, gluten free. They have like no GMO. They're actually really, really like, well, not really, really healthy, but they're super healthy for spring rolls. I love the sauce. It's like this, I don't know, sweet and sour sauce. So I'll typically have this for dinner. And then sometimes like Dan will make veggies with his meat and I'll like take a few of those veggies. And then I usually have a snack afterwards, like a bit later on. They're so yum. So you just put it in the oven at 375 for, I do nine minutes on one side and I flip them and do nine minutes on the other side. So I'm waiting for this to heat up. Um, but I'm so hungry, so I think I might actually... I don't like to have a snack before dinner because sometimes it fills me, but usually like these mini hummuses are really good. So I'll have a few crackers with some hummus. We have these like sweet potato crackers that we get from Costco. They just have grains and stuff. They're really yummy. So it's pretty good for portion control because then you don't, like me, eat way too much hummus because that's definitely my issue. It's so good. Look how good they look. Just watching Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Such a good movie. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Cabbage, carrots, lots of veggies. So yummy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did quickly want to say I forgot to film my lunch, which is literally defeats the purpose of this video. But what I usually do for lunch is I just make my own salad. So just throw in spinach and kale. It's like what I do every single time. The other ingredients I use, it's super simple, but I do um, hard boiled egg and then I do uh, peppers, cucumbers, onions, like either green onions or red onions. Um, I do chickpeas or any kind of bean. And then I also do sometimes lentils, sometimes not. And I like to throw in walnuts and uh, a little bit of cheese. And then as for the dressing, either a light balsamic or a light honey mustard, something very simple and basic like that. That day I was running around a lot and I forgot to film it, which is so dumb. But if you guys really wanna see a video kind of all about how I make my salads, cause they're really, really good, let me know in the comments down below. And also please no judgments on things that I eat. Everyone is different. Listen to your own body. If you want to eat more, eat more. You just have to listen to yourself based off how much exercise you're doing, how you're feeling. Again, I do everything to kind of extend my life as much as possible. I try to be healthy. I try to, you know, being eating healthy isn't just helping physically. It helps mentally as well. So it's a big reason why I'm a very big advocate for that. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more of these videos. I kind of want to make them more of like a regular thing, showing more ingredients, showing more um, cooking things because I love to cook and I think it would be really beneficial for you guys if you want to see that. I love you and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!